So my oldest and I and a family friend is actually at the scene where a skull was found. Here's a question for you. This was, hey, Pittsburgh police in the city of Pittsburgh, if this was properly investigated, why did we find another one of my daughter's bones? And why did you guys even leave stuff? This is, this is a bone. This is a bone, city of Pittsburgh. Why is this not taped off? Why isn't it dug up to see if there is any, any other remains? Why is this not dug up to see if there's a murder weapon? Anything. One way or another, me as Kayleen's father, Kayleen's getting justice. The last time Jason Oling saw his daughter Kayleen alive was three years ago. He says he remembers that day like it was yesterday and has been haunted by it ever since. He tells me his 20-year-old daughter had just found out she was pregnant and says he just can't shake the feeling that news has something to do with her death. Turn yourself in. Make a confession. I mean... The police are right on your trail now. Since Kayleen's been found, this is just a new chapter, and it's the first paragraph. We're holding up stronger because we're a close fan. Trust in all the judgment the county is doing and everything else, and I feel more at ease as Kayleen's father that county has taken over this scene also. I have now a whole new set of nightmares. But I was going to be able to now rest, but now I figured out a new chapter just begun, though. Because now I still need to find out that crime scenes aren't tampered with, they're actually dealt with properly. Pittsburgh. We have all of Kayleen, all evidence that needs to be collected. We want to make sure. We just want to make sure everything is right and nothing's going to get botched anymore. Oh. If anybody is involved or you know anything, do the right thing and turn yourself in at this point. So this young woman, Kayleen Oling, police just charged this man with sending graphic photos of Oling to her underage sister on Facebook. I think it's absolutely disgusting and it shows the caliber of person that he is. 46 year old Michael Mano charged with corruption of minors and other offenses for allegations involving the family of his ex girlfriend, Kayleen Oling, the 20 year old woman from Etna who went missing back in January of last year. Her family, including her uncle Paul Young here, have no answers and fear the worst. The whole thing's horrible for our whole family, you know. Most importantly, her parents and her siblings, because this is like a taunt. According to police paperwork and Kayleen's family, Mano recently sent an explicit selfie of him with Kayleen to her 17 year old sister over Facebook, a photo family members believe was taken before she vanished. At first, he sent these pictures to Kayleen's father, and then he sent them to her sister. 
So, you know, that wasn't the first time. No. Her sister's dealing with it the best that she can. Uh, her and her sister were very close. We visited Mano's Penn Hills address to see if anyone was there to respond. No one came to the door. Loved ones are trying to remain strong. What they really want is to know what happened to Kayleen. No, we have no answers. Everything at this point is pretty much circumstantial. Um, so we're just, you know, trying to get all of our ducks in a row so we can hopefully bring her home at some point. And regarding Kayleen's disappearance in the past, county police told me that they do have suspects, but they weren't identifying them. We'll keep you posted on any updates we receive.